Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all have a good time today. How are you doing, huh? Well, make sure your nannies, your mommies, or daddies are there to give us support, singing, drowning me out, and learning the rhymes, too, so you can do them during the day. So here we go. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Right? Aren't you happy when you have your friends over? I am. I am. Well, also, I know that a lot of things that we miss, and we miss having a lot of friends over, that's for sure. We miss going to the ballpark, huh? We miss going to the fairs and all the fun things that happen. But um, we do have our farmer's market, right? And maybe in that farmer's market, there was a baker. Do you think he had, there was a baker there this year? I'm not sure, but here we go. You ready? And I've lost something here. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If your daughters do not like them, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now, come on, you can help me sing this. This is a simple little piano song. So here we go. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If your daughters do not like them, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Are you a daughter? Or are you a son, huh? If you're a little girl, you're a daughter, right? And if you're a little boy, you are a son. Even if you're a big boy, right? You're a son all the time. Well, a long time ago, <clears throat> when there were <clears throat> certain wars going on, all the big important um, soldiers always had very fancy hats. I don't think they do that anymore, but a long time ago, the noble Duke of York had a very fancy hat. And here he is. And I, this is a good uh, marching game and uh, also directional. So mommies and, and nannies and, and daddies, help, help your children uh, <clears throat> uh, play out this uh, little uh, game with me. So here we go. Can you march? Oh, the mo noble Duke of York had 10,000 men. And he marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Where's up? And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were halfway up the hill, they were neither up nor down. Huh? Do you know where up and down are? Huh? Let's see. And halfway is here, right? Oh, the noble Duke of York had 10,000 men and he marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were halfway up the hill, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> what a funny hat, gracious sakes. <clears throat> well, Wizzy Wizard, Wizzy Wizard always has a tip for our adults and our caregivers here. So Wizzy Wizard, what is the tip for today? Well, one of the best things that you can do for your child uh, is to give them the enjoyment of reading books by allowing your children to participate as you share books <laughs> uh, uh, with them. You can keep them engaged much longer and uh, around the book and feel, and if they feel free that they can turn the page carefully, show them how at the, at the corner of the page and not in the middle <clears throat> and to stop and talk about the picture or ask uh, open, open-ended questions. When you ask your child a, chi a child that's preschool, it should be open-ended. That means there's no right or wrong answer. It's what they think <clears throat> to keep their interest. So by all means, uh, think of clever ways into, into, for introducing books to your, your um, uh, daily uh, activities, okay? Because the first book I have is Puffin Peter. What is a puffin? A puffin is a little bird. It doesn't look like a penguin, right? 
A penguin is a bird too. Remember last week the penguin? But this is a puffin. And this little puffin is a seabird too. He loves to swim. He loves to dive, but he can fly. Can the penguin fly? No, no, the penguin can't fly, but the puffin can. And he lives in a cold place too, but not way down south at the South Pole. He lives up sort of north, up out, out near the sea. And this is by Peter Harsick, Puffin Peter. And he's a little bird. He's not a big bird like, like the uh, penguin. And here he is again. Puffin Peter. <clears throat> ah, this is Peter. And this is Paul. They look just alike, don't they? Peter and Paul were the best of friends. And Paul made Peter laugh by being funny and noisy. They spent their days happily fishing around their rocky island. They lived on an island, didn't they? Way out in the sea, the cold sea, right? One day, while they were out diving, nearly underwater getting the fish, look at them dive. <clears throat> A storm blew up. Oh my goodness, blowing, blowing, a big storm. Oh my goodness me. Peter was lost. Oh, look, where did he go? Oh my goodness. There's only Paul. Peter is gone. Oh, he was blown far out to sea. There he is in that big ocean, the big ocean or sea. At last, the storm was over. Where am I? said Peter. He opened his eyes, and where is Paul? Oh my, that is kind of scary, isn't it? To find yourself all by yourself, all alone. Hello said a large blue whale. Are you lost? Look at the whale and look at how how big the whale is. And there is little, little Peter up in the top there. Yes, said Peter, and I've lost my best friend, Paul. My goodness. <clears throat> What's he like? Asked the whale. Oh, Paul is funny and noisy. Can you help me find him? Funny and noisy, I know just where to look, said the whale. And they set off together. Oh, they went, they went to the tropics where it's nice and warm. Are you gonna find Paul there? I don't think so. They arrived at a small island. Which one is Paul, asked the whale. The birds were funny and noisy, but they were nothing like Paul. Paul is not a parrot, said Peter. Paul's feathers are black and white. Funny and noisy, black and white? <laughs> said the whale, I know just where to look and off they went. The place they came to was very cold. The birds were funny, noisy and black and white. But they were nothing like Paul. Paul is not a penguin, said Peter. Paul's beak is very colorful, right? See the pretty red and yellow on and orange on that beak? The beak is his, his mouth, right? Funny, noisy, black and white with a colorful beak, said the whale. I know exactly where to look. And they set off again. Next bird they saw was funny, noisy, black and white with a colorful bill, but it wasn't Paul. Look at that big colorful bill. <clears throat> Paul is not a toucan, said Peter. Oh, we are never going to find him. Oh. Peter was sad. The whale didn't know where else to look. So they drifted across the ocean. Oh. 
After a few days, some tiny islands appeared on the horizon. And there they are, way over there. Do you see those little teeny specks of land there? Those are islands. Peter didn't look up as they drifted closer. Look, said the whale. What's that? I wonder what the whale sees. Something flying in the sky. They're getting, they're getting closer. Oh, it was black and white with a colorful beak. It was funny and noisy. It was Paul looking for Peter. Peter was overjoyed. So this is Paul, cried the whale. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what, said Peter. The whale smiled that he's a puffin just like you. All puffins look the same to us, don't they? But they know each other very well. That's Puffin Peter by Peter Horton. And I'm probably not pronouncing that name correctly. <clears throat> see <laughs> there <clears throat> there was a man named michael finnegan he grew whiskers on his chin again push your chin the wind came along and blew them in again poor old michael finnegan begin again there was a man named michael finnegan he grew whiskers on his chin again the wind came along and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. There was a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came along and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. Can we go faster? I don't know. There was a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came along and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. I think that's it, huh? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Where is my kitten? My poor little kitten. <laughs> my poor little kitten lost her mitten and started to cry, boo hoo. <clears throat> so I helped my kitten find her mitten, her beautiful mitten of blue. <clears throat> I found a mitten just right for a kitten <laughs> under my mother's bed, but alas, the mitten was not the right mitten, for it was colored red. I found a mitten just right for a kitten under my father's pillow. But alas, the mitten was not the right mitten, for it was colored, whoops, yellow. I found a mitten just right for a kitten. <clears throat> on the hand of my brother's clown. But alas, the mitten was not the right mitten, for it was colored brown. I found a mitten just right for a kitten under the laundry so clean. But alas, the mitten was not the right mitten, for it was colored green. Just right from a kitten <clears throat> inside a grocery sack. But alas, the mitten was not the right mitten, for it was colored black. I found the mitten just right for a kitten under the kitchen sink. But alas, it was not the right mitten, for it was colored pink. I found a mitten just right for a kitten inside and my favorite shoe. And this time the mitten was just the right mitten for it was colored blue. Right, you have two hands and two mittens, huh? Sometimes they don't match because we can't find the right mitten, right? As long as our hands are warm, that's the important thing. 
<clears throat> well, what do we have here? It doesn't look like winter time, does it? No. We're, we're down where it's always warm, where the palm trees grow. They don't grow up here where it gets cold. No, <clears throat> no not, not the winters that we have. Here's a palm tree. But I see something on the palm tree. What do I see? I see little babies, the baby letters. These are the little, little letters, A, B, C. And they have big mama and papa letters. And this book is Chick a Chick a Boom Boom by Mil Bill Martin Jr. and John Archibald. <coughs> Archambault. Yeah, chick -a -chick -a -boom -boom. Wow, is that the alphabet? There are all the mamas and the papas. Yep, all the big letters. And the little letters too are right next to them, you see? Huh? And that's how, <coughs> those are the letters that we <coughs> read when we read a story to you. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. See, I see a C and a B. Do you? Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. A told B and B, <laughs> and B told C, I'll meet you two at the top of the coconut tree. Is the coconut tree? See the coconuts up there? And here's C. We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Well, here comes H up the coconut tree. There's the baby H. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look at all those letters, huh? Ah, uh, look who's coming. Ah, L-M-N-O-P. It looks a little bit like their mommies and daddies, but not always exactly the same. And huh, Q R S and T U V. Look at that. What's happening in that coconut tree? It's starting to bend a little bit. Hmm? Still more, W, X, Y, and Z. The whole alphabet up the, oh no. What's happening? What's happening? The tree is so heavy at the top, eh, it bent over and everyone fell out. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Oh my goodness, I hope they're not hurt. Skit, scat, scoot, loot, flip, flop, flea. Oh, everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and their uncles and aunts hug their little dears and dust off their pants. Oh, there. Help us up, cried A, B, C. Next from the pileup, skin, knee, D. There he is with a skin, knee, see? And stub, toe, E, ooh, patched up, F, and here comes G, all out of breath. Oh, oh my goodness. H is tangled up with I. <clears throat> J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. Look at that. N is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted, alley oop. Oh. Skip, scat, scootle doop, flip, flop, flea. Look who's coming. It's black eyed P. Oh, we got a black eye. Uh oh. Q R S and loose tooth T. Oh, his one of his teeth are coming out. Uh oh. Now he's probably six years old. What do you think? And then U V W wiggle jiggle free. 
last to come is X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. It's nighttime now. Mm -hmm. A is out of bed. And this is what he said. Dare, double dare. You can't catch me. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, naughty little A. See all those capital letters and small letters? Big A, little A, bouncing B. The cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. X and Y and tumble down Z. The kitten's in the parlor waiting for tea. <coughs> <coughs> well, what do we have here but all the mamas and the papas? Yep, all the all the big people. There we are. Now, you know the alphabet song, don't you, huh? And someday you'll learn the letters by sight. Someday, a little early. This is how we do it, huh? A little bit at a time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? See if we can get that so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see. Hmm. How's that? A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was very good. Good job. Good job, everyone. <sighs> well, I tell you what, when I was a little girl, we had a hen. She wasn't black, though. She was, we had a lot of them. We had. We had 50. We were allowed to have 50 in the, in a, up there in Massachusetts during the World War II. There we go. Heckity peckity, my black hen, she lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen doth lay. Sometimes nine and sometimes 10. Peckity peckity, my black hen. You black? Yes, she is. Some hens are black, some hens are white, some hens are red, some hens are spotted. Yeah. All different kinds of chickens. Here we go. Peckity peckity, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen doth lay. Sometimes nine. Sometimes ten. Peckity peckity, my black hen. And what does she lay? Eggs. That's where we get our most of our eggs from a, from a chicken, right? From a mama chicken. <clears throat> well, who has a little dog? Do you have a little dog? Hmm? Do you? I used to have a little dog, but not anymore. Do you know Spot, huh? Where's Spot? Spot's a puppy. And puppies are, are love to <clears throat> play tricks on people. And this is by Eric Hill. Where's Spot? Well, I see some, I see two um, doggy bowls. And that says <clears throat> Sally. And there's Spot. But Spot still has his food in there. This must be Sally, his mommy. That Spot, he hasn't eaten his supper. Where can he be? Oh, I've got to go look for my puppy. Is he behind the door? Surprise. Ah, 
no, what is that? That's a bear stealing some honey out of the pantry. Uh oh. <clears throat> well, that was. Is he inside the clock? No. What is that? It's a big snake. Oh my goodness. Is he in the piano? Uh -oh. No. He is a hippopotamus. <laughs> what is he doing in a piano? Is he under the stairs in this little cupboard? No. There's a lion under there. Oh, my gracious. Is he in the closet? <laughs> no. What is that? Some kind of a monkey, huh? Chimpanzee, I think. Well, this is a pretty wild house. Is he under the bed? Oh, no. What is that? It's a crocodile. Oh, gracious. Or maybe it's an alligator. I think that was an alligator. Is he in the box? No. What's in there? Penguins. No, 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 it says. We're not, we're not Spot. Ah, uh, here's Spot. He's under the rug. Uh, no, I'm not Spot. What is that? The tortoise. The turtle that lives on the land. <laughs> Look in the basket, says the tortoise. And so Sally runs to the basket, and who is there but her little puppy? Huh? Yeah. Oh, gracious. A good, a good boy, Spot. And he comes and finishes his dinner. Where's Spot? Oh, that's such an old classic, that is. <coughs> Do you have a dog? Do you have a puppy? <coughs> hmm. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Where's my puppy? Where'd he go? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? with his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, oh dear, I've lost my dog. Where did you come from? You know I was looking for you. Are you hiding on me? That's a mean trick to play on, Mommy. Yes, it is. <clears throat> but anyway, it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you next week. Tell your friends. Anytime, actually, you can come and join us and have some fun. Just go on the library website and um, uh, for Tales for Tots on Tuesdays and click on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, Granny Jean. And bye-bye to the ABCs. Bye-bye to Mr. Finnegan. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the Black Hen. And bye-bye to my little puppy. Bye-bye. And bye-bye to all my friends.